Wow. What's up? What's going on? It's a vibe for the 2024 20, season. Okay. Or maybe just for my Australian <coughs> Australian trip. Yeah, we're just kind of done with the 23 season, hey? Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. I appreciate all of your support for the 2023 season, but fuck it. We're looking, we're looking ahead now. And I heard you were missing YouTube a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I, I missed the camera. Like, a month of being sick is... Obviously, it's like away from training, but the main part is it's also away from being on the screen or being in front of the camera, and you know, that's what I love the most. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Fuck training. Fuck training. Yeah, you look yeah. a little like unhinged right now. Yeah. Like you've kind of looks like you've kind of fallen off the tracks a little. But you're back apparently. I'm back, baby. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! too long I've been down Singa Singapore tried to kill me they did their best but I'm still standing so uh, as most of you guys know or the last time you saw me basically was uh, on training camp in Lanzarote before world championships COVID happened sickness happened uh, a lot of stuff happened um, and fast forward to now, uh, I've just started training again. So um, yeah, it took a good month of uh, recovering. Yeah, after the Singapore race, uh, basically um, tried to get tried to get back in training a couple of times, um, but just to find myself like um, sick the day after. It was like. A strange kind of a flu influenza kind of um, feeling. Uh, so the doctor thought I had mono something. I still don't know what it is in English, but it's quite bad. Apparently, especially if you get it in my age. age. Um, luckily, the blood test just came back two days ago and it was negative so um, I'm positive and uh, I'm starting training again for the 2024 20, season and also uh, we have like we have a couple of races left on the calendar hopefully we have a couple of races left for the calendar um, on the calendar it's um, challenge Canberra in November and Ironman Western Australia in start December. So I'm gonna have a good month of, uh, of training in, uh, in Australia uh, leading up to that. Uh, super cool guy uh, called Matt uh, texted me on Instagram and asked me if I wanted to stay at his place and prep. I said yes. Uh, so I really look forward. I've had a couple of chats um, with Matt and I think we're gonna have a blast of a time in the sunny coast. I've heard a whole lot of good things about sunny coast, so I really look forward to see it first person. And then we'll see what happens from there. Um, obviously, like, shape is terrible right now. So um, there's only one way to get better, and it's not to sit on the couch and uh, whine about it. It's, uh, yeah, basically, I just have to. Uh, I know I just have to go a couple of weeks to uh, to Club La Santa and um, you know just uh, enter uh, training camp mode, um, go ballistic, uh, completely smash myself day in and day out, do the sessions, enjoy life, um, get some tan. So that's what I'm gonna do on Friday. And how how has it been? Like, of course, dealing with the disappointment of not being in Nice. Um, are you already kind of past it, looking forward to this next group of races in next year? Or kind of where's your head been at with that? It was really tough. I'm not going to lie. Um, not only seeing the race, but also just, you know, 
if you like it or not, it's my life. It's um, what I work for every day, every hour. Um, and for that to have been to have been taken away from me is just that's tough. Um, but as I said before, I don't want to sit and cry about it. I've spent plenty of time being mad about not being in these. Um, all of that aside, I thought it was an amazing race. Uh, it was so fun to watch. And it's the first time I've watched the whole full Iron Man on television. Um, it was also just kind of a confirmation of, um, I just want to be there. Uh, I want to race and um, that's what I plan to do next year. It would also be kind of wrong if, if it didn't touch me just a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. And do you want to buy a VIN pass now? Yeah, Iron Man, like you've upped your game when it comes to broadcasts, and I think we have to we have to applaud applaud that because, like, compared to what it's been before, it's it's really really good now. But cut the commercials, seriously, <laughs> <laughs> and cut two commercials now. Use protection. Yeah, let's take them back. Uh-huh. Coming up, I was confused. My mommy kissing the girl. Confusion the curse coming up in the cold world. Daddy ain't around, probably out committing felonies. My favorite rapper used to sing check, check out my melody. I wanna live good, so shit, I sell dope for four fingers. Do you have any local uh graphic grounds in this area? Actually not. I uh I haven't been running out here since I started using Strava. Oh shit. Well, we could look at it. Yeah, but I'm not. Uh, no, I'm not supposed to do any Strava hunting today. That's how it is. When I come home from Lanzarote, then it's probably gonna be. Uh, we're gonna go out here for a hunt. Right now, I don't have the uh, fucking brain capacity or the legs to do any hunting. On the grill of my low rider, guns on both sides, right above the gold wires, I four five them. Kill a nigga on my song and really do it. That's the true meaning of a ghost rider. 10 G to take your daughter out of air forces. Believe you me, homie, I know all about losses. I'm from Compton, where the wrong colors be cautious. One phone call, had your body dumped in Marcy. I stay strapped like car seats. Been banging since my little nigga Rob got killed for his bark. I think the one thing I'm looking the most forward to moving to Switzerland is running hills. I'm sorry, are you moving to Switzerland? Yep. I think I just got a... I'm pretty sure I don't want to jinx it. But I think I just got a new awesome apartment in St. Moritz. <coughs> That's gonna be fucking lit. Because this is the most hills we can run in almost all of Denmark. <laughs> 90 seconds uphill. Wow, so when's that happening? Uh, next season. It's all starting to make sense. My mom's happy she ain't gotta pay the rent. And she got a red bow on that brand new bench. Waiting on shot money to land, sitting in the range. Thinking how they spent 30 million dollars on airplanes when his kids starving. Pockets going and Brenda still throwing babies in the garbage. I wanna know what's going on like I hear Marvin. No school books, they use that wood to build coffins. Whenever I'm in the booth and I get exhausted, I think what if Marie Baker got that abortion? I love you, my dogs on top. And I'm gonna shine on me until my heart stops. Go ahead and be me. I'm Raps MVP, and I ain't going nowhere, so you can get to know me. Either the love of the underdogs on top, and I'm gonna shine on me until my heart stops. Go ahead and be me. I'm Raps MVP, and I ain't going nowhere, so you can get to know me. Obviously, I, uh, when you spend 50k euros or more a year on YouTube, you also want to have some, like, people responding, and it's starting to grow now, and so that's that's pretty pretty epic. I think you know it also gets me fired up when when I get people commenting on on the stuff and and sharing. <coughs> Other than that, it's just nice to have Mitch around and um, sharing. Like obviously, we don't we don't only have moments we share on the YouTube videos. We also have 
moments outside of of the videos and um, that's what I cherish the most and I'm extremely grateful for having a friend like like Mitch um, to be honest he's him Sissel and, and Atlas are the only reason why it's tough for me to move to Switzerland uh, because they don't want to like move with me uh, so if we get 500,000 likes and subscribers uh, within the next three months they're gonna move with me to Switzerland so people if you want these videos if you want this content make it happen Need the love of the underdogs on top And I'm gon' shine, homie, until my heart stops Go ahead, envy me I'm Raps MVP And I ain't going nowhere so you can get to know me Need the love of the underdogs on top And I'm gon' shine, homie, until my heart stops Go ahead, envy me I'm Raps MVP And I ain't going nowhere so you can get to know me Nick, on the grill of my low ride That's pretty accurate 120 Door to door I'm a pro I'm a pro at this, this is my job. Okay. So today I ran the K epic KOM loop at 20 minutes. When I'm in shape, I do it at 16. Oh. But don't fucking shy away from the hard work. No matter if it hurts, no matter if it's if you're feeling like shit or if you are in my case actually shit. Don't shy away from it. Face it head on. This is the dream baby. This is the dream. The tough times when you work hard. Or something like that. Hope Brian said it. <laughs> Rest in peace. So I uh, I I I'm not sure if it's if I'm allowed to say it, but I, otherwise Mitch will beep it out. But I, I'm, I, I, when I say it loud, you're probably gonna beep it out because it's just I don't know what the situation is right now. Yeah, it's a, it's a situation ship. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and she asked me, um, so what would you do if you were not a professional triathlete? And my instant uh, my instant reply was. Um, I was going to be a rock star, um, and you can see here on these pictures why I would be a rock star. Because uh, once an entertainer, an entertainer, always an entertainer. Um, and she said that doesn't count. I said F you, um, and then I went home and thought about it. I was, if if I was not to be a professional triathlete or a rock star. I would probably end up being a uh, cocaine king, like Pablo Escobar. And you, you had to call me cocaine king. Otherwise what? No, that, that would be my nickname. Yeah, and if I didn't call you that, then what? So, would we still be doing the same thing if I was dealing cocaine? Would you be my, kind of my Robin? Sidekick? It was because I'm watching Narcos for the third time at the moment and seriously it's my absolute favorite show right now at least because I think basically it's it's only because the uh, the soundtrack from Narcos is just insane cut to uh, me running to the Narcos soundtrack Mitch got to go home, so um, I'm gonna head to the pool, do a, a session, back home, pack my stuff, do a bit of a, a easy ride, pack the, pack my bike, and then tomorrow morning we're gonna head to Lanzarote and say hello to Club La Santa.